Bro, why that man telling like that, dog? Like, that shit crazy, bro. That shit real fucking wicked, dog. What's going on, Rayway Gang? It's your boy Ray back at it again with another video. This one, I guess you can't even call this one a reaction, man. Y'all seen the title? We talking about 6ix9ine, bro. This shit crazy. So, everybody knew that he was he was snitching. Everybody knew he was telling. And then, it came down that he was going to be taking the stand against the two dudes that on trial right now. So, then everybody hears, oh, he telling, telling. They leak the documents. They see that he telling everything. He giving up all the answers, right? So, day one of the trial, dog. The judge asked 6 9 what did you get from Nine Trey? Dude said he got everything. Yo. He got the protection. He got the clout. He got the credibility. All that. That's why he did it. But he ain't get put on. He was just a bankroll. So like, whenever he did a show, or whatever, whatever money he got, he got the front end. They got the back end. So let's say he did a show for like two, two hundred thousand. He get like one eighty five, and then they they get the rest. So that's crazy. That's bro. Just. Just reading the situation, cause right now they ain't in federal court, so no cameras allowed. Um, that's why the best thing anybody got as far as a visual is just this ugly ass picture six nine that somebody drew that I'm finna put right here. It should be right there. It's right there. But um, yeah, that's so that's why there's no visuals or nothing like that. But there are some audio clips, and you hear them. He goes as far as pointing out the gentlemen or the fucking dudes in the courtroom because the judge asks him, um, do you know these individuals or can you identify these individuals? And she was like, yep, whoop with the whoop the whoop suit and then him with the oop suit. Yep, that was it. And then... um. I guess he was detailing like the gang structure and everything. Like he was telling um fucking Mel, the top dog, then was shoddy, and then was sick. And like he so he basically broke down all their structures, talking about how inside prison there's more credibility than outside of prison. The sets have whole different kind of power. And that shit this shit was crazy. Like, he was basically giving up all the information, bro. And then, I jumped into day two. Actually, the craziest thing about day one, the judge asked him to demonstrate the hand sign. Like, the nine tray hand sign. And at first, he said he couldn't do it because it requires two people. But then he said he could do it with both his hands. So, he did it himself. So, he stood up and actually did it himself. <laughs> And, like, he, the feds know this gang. Like, this ain't a gang no more. It's, like, this ain't a gang no more. So, day two comes in. And I've been keeping track of it all day. You know, just kind of bouncing around, seeing if I see anything new. <clears throat> and the first thing I saw and read about was him snitching on trippy red bro trippy not even in this fucking shit but i guess because one of his songs it was aimed at trippy red they used it in court they were playing the music and they asked him to break down the details and the lyrics and all that 
and uh, he said it was aimed at Trippy, and they had an altercation, and yada yada yada. And like, they had to, he had to disclose why there was an altercation, I guess, or why there was fucking beef. So he told it was some gang shit, you know what I'm saying, and snitch snitching but so now if anything happened to trippy down the road we can link it back to this situation because 6ix9ine basically just told the federal government that trippy's a gang member trippy said it already. everybody knows it he said it in songs on instagram wherever he said it but he never said it to the government you know what i'm saying he ain't go up to the police officer like, hey, bro, I'm gang banging it. I just, Phew. oh, shit. It's like, hey, I bang this, this, that, and new. I just did this, that, and third. Nobody ever did that. But now they probably going to be on the radar. You feel me? So I think the deepest, like, the deepest thing, the the most serious part about this whole situation is he snitching and telling on all these different people. He bringing all these different people into the mix. People, families hurt, people locked up just so he could get out and be free. That's crazy. Like, that's that take a real evil type of person, bro. Like, to put that many people that like that many people through that much pain bro just so you could get out and go back to being a rapper dog that's crazy <coughs> can't respect that bro man but fast forward and into day two man so he was uh i guess he was describing getting abducted they pulled him in the whip, beat him up, drove him to his house, robbed the house, and then they let him go, basically. Uh, it doesn't look like it was orchestrated. Um, nobody was like, it wasn't like a fake scenario. Like, they really ran his pockets. Um, so, that, the defense was using that to say it was staged or whatever. So that kind of throws it out the window because 6 9 his mouth just said that the shit was real. And fucking, they don't expect him to be a liar now because he just gave up the whole gang. Like he even said in his gummo video, he didn't know nobody there. He called Shotty and Shotty set it up. And he bought like three dozen red rags and everybody was just out there so they not expecting him to be lying about this when he just told all of that you feel me so that defense is basically out the window man honestly dog i can't respect it bro i was like you know maybe if he just giving up the giving up the basic ass information like, maybe he could get out and just hide. But, like, now, after, like, and it's just day two. They, I guess there's still, like, a whole another three days of trial left. And, but after that, bro, that's wraps. Everybody around him isn't, nobody's safe around him anymore. Uh, if he do get out, there's nothing he could get out and go to. He's too identifiable. It's it's all bad, bro. So, hey, it's what it is, bro. You you supposed to know that when you get into some like man, when you get into some shit like that, you know what come with it. Like the craziest thing about all of this, it it wasn't like oh back in November they got jammed and then. They sat there for a little bit, 
and then they worked they worked on them and then eventually they got them to flip nah bro do flip the next day he got arrested november 18th 2018 he flipped November 19th, 2018. That's crazy to me. Like, bro, it didn't take no time for you to flip on them like that, bro. Protection, money, clout, security, everything. And he flipped in a day, bro. He flipped in 12 hours. Because it wasn't like, oh, they arrested him at 8 o'clock in the morning. And he spent that whole day in receiving reception, fucking intake. And and then flipped the next day. Nah, like, he, he got jammed up, like, in the afternoon. So he got there. He got semi-processed. Got put in a holding cell. Woke up the next day and was telling. So it was like 12 hours, bro. It couldn't have been more than 12 hours. That's crazy. Unacceptable. But we going we gonna to keep following. We're going to see what happens, man. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button right now. Subscribe to the channel. Join the family. Join the gang. Join the wave. We on the road to 5K. Lock in for all the updates. Make sure you turn on your post notifications right away.